Hello, fellow engineers. Today, I'm selecting my favorite rock. This one sort of looks like a strong shape if you squint and tilt your head a bit. But in this game, I have one sole objective. Get to the core. Now, before we get into it, quick warning. This game is very, very addictive. I did a little a little trial that I like to do before I play every game. And I looked down and I've been playing it for over an hour. All right, so basically, we have an entire solar system and we are responsible for mining it. If we head in here, you can see there is a planet there. Um, and circling that, presumably that's a moon but it has a question mark so we're not sure we can click on this you can see a load of details about it it's got 20 iron 10 silicon 5 aluminium so they are the resources we can get so let's travel and basically this is us we <laughs> we literally just crash into the surface sort of drilling a little hole as we go um, and you'll notice in the bottom left we not only have fuel but the bar underneath that's our health every time we hit the planet we are losing health um, and the deeper we get the the sort of harder each bit is until you die. Now, as we're mining that, we were in the this white layer and that gave us a load of iron. We've got 106. So if we head into the shop, this is our upgrade tree. Now, the green icons are ones that we can afford to upgrade. So if we click on this, you can see this is ore extraction. It will increase the drop rates of blocks. Uh, so we'll increase those by 10% and it costs us 20 iron. I've got 106. So we'll buy a couple of those and you'll see look it's unlocked two new paths now we can't see what either of those are until we upgrade this a little bit further uh, so let's spend our remaining iron on that yeah we didn't get far enough i think we need like probably to get to five and then ten to unlock both of those uh, we've also got this one down here which is the fuel tank it increases our fuel tank size so it costs 10 iron let's do that once that's unlocked another little stick down here but again we need to upgrade this further before we can get that so we need to upgrade it probably 20 times maybe less but anyway we can go back to the solar system back to the home planet travel again and then boosh boosh just try and work our way down and you'll notice we really don't get very far until everything's destroyed but remember we get more iron now I think did we get 106 last time this time we got 357 so back in the shop let's do the ore extraction i think the the earlier we do this the sort of more more resources we'll get any remaining we'll go do some fuel tank size that sounds good so i did a bit more mining there we got 769 now the other thing you can do with resources if you come up to this resource tab you can sell them for money so we get 854 quid if i sell all of them so let's do that head back to the skill tree because look at this one this is drill damage and that requires money to upgrade 25 quid for the first level so let's just buy that you can see this is how much it's going up by each time. So basically, I'm just going to shove all my money into this. Uh, and now we've we've got we've got seven levels out of the ten already unlocked, which hopefully means as we drill down this time, we should be able to get a little bit further before we die. Hopefully, I mean, not not really. I think we need to try and work on this one down here, silicon plating, because this will give us armor. Now you notice we need silicon for that. And this top layer of crust that we're currently in, this is just like an iron layer. If I zoom out you can actually see like the different layers so that yellow that's the silicon that we need beneath that in the red that is aluminium and then beyond that is the core remember that's the objective of this get to the core anyway we'll zoom in just so we can sort of focus on boosting these blocks out a little bit now we got quite a lot there i'm gonna sell all of that and then hope I can unlock this next one. It's called a gravity lock. Basically, you can toggle shift to not get knockback when you break a block. Uh, that requires two grand though. So I think for now, let's just see what else we can spend our money on. This other green one, it sort of looks like a bridge. So I'm sort of sold. It's a coin siphon. So basically, we get a percentage of coins from blocks. Uh, we'll get 10%. So I think that is well worth doing. You can see that's unlocked three more upgrades. This game just throws upgrades at you it gets quite hard to keep track of everything um, but i think with a coin siphon it means we're always getting coins we don't have to constantly sell resources um, i might just increase my drill damage while i'm here all right so you can see now as i'm drilling in the top right we are getting money yeah, and that's on top of our normal resource which is lovely i would imagine if i keep increasing this ore extraction that will probably help because i'm getting more ore and i get a percentage of money based on the ore so yeah let's upgrade that that's like 50 percent increase beautiful i'm then gonna add a load of fuel because the more fuel i have the the longer we can drill for and we need to be able to drill for longer so we can get down to that silicon layer because then we can increase our armor and then we'll be much better off so i think i'll just i'll just do a bit of grinding for a little bit and i'll see you guys when i have a load of cash to spend a few moments later all right so i've done a few more rounds i got a load of money so we can finally unlock this gravity lock for two grand we'll buy that 
We'll then increase our coin siphon so we're getting more money. And then check this out. If I hold shift, we now drop straight down. <laughs> we no longer we no longer get flung back. So that is awesome. But you'll notice as soon as I hit that, that silicon layer, I pretty much died instantly. Yeah, that's because we're not strong enough. But we just got some silicon from there. So we can upgrade to silicon plating. Yeah, we actually got 158 silicon. We did all right, considering we only like barely touched it before we died. So our armor goes from zero to one. And then I may as well just spend all my silicon on that. Because the stronger we are, the deeper we'll be able to dig. I think the rest will go on my fuel tank. And then, oh, we've got this one as well. So the original one used iron to increase our fuel tank. This one uses money. So yeah, we'll just upgrade that a few times. And then back at our planet. Boosh. We've... Look how much... Look at, look at the look at the fuel bar. It's like, it's not going down at all anymore. So we can probably head into the silicon layer. Oh no, silicon really does rinse it still. Yeah, look at that bar going down. Look at that bar going down when I go in there. But still, that was a good haul. I think I'll increase my armor quite a lot. Uh, oh, we got a new upgrade up here. What's that? Ore refine, increased drop rates of blocks. 25% just for a bit of silicon. Okay, we'll do that a couple of times. There is a brand new one up here. The silicon plated drill increased drill damage. So that just uses silicon and money. Increases it by three. This original one just uses money and increases it by three as well. So yeah, I'll do one of each on those. Oh man, this tech tree is getting quite big. Can I zoom out? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I can zoom out this far. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of upgrades in this game. Anyway, give me a sec to zoom back in. There we go. All right, we'll spend the rest on just a fuel tank. And then, boosh. Oh, man, I'm loving the holding shift thing. Like, look at me. I'm just drilling through the planet. Look how fast we're going. Oh, I've been dreaming of this moment since I started playing. <laughs> Yeah, the silicon layer still rinses us, but we're getting a lot more silicon before we die now. So that's quite a good positive. Yeah, I think I'm going to upgrade my coin siphon because I want to get coins quicker. I'll get that ore refine as well, just so we're getting way more resources per hit. Increase our armor, increase our fuel, all the different ways of doing it. Man, I can upgrade everything this time. This is awesome. Okay, so after lots of upgrades, let's just drill straight down and see, can we get through the silicon layer? That's what I want to know. Yeah, armor is not going down that much so we may be able to get to the red all right here we go here we go We've yes we got some uh, we got some aluminium we have some aluminium and we died look we got 284 aluminium nice so we could sell that for quite a lot of money it's worth almost 10 times what the other ones are worth uh, but i think it's probably going to be worth holding on to i imagine there'll be some upgrades we need that use aluminium in the meantime let's just do the usual upgrades. All right, and then this time I'm going to mine like just loads of iron. I'm going to try and stay sort of high. You can see me just literally doing the world's longest tunnel, but uh, the fuel bar is insane still. I've actually, I've tunneled around the entire earth. That is literally the world's longest tunnel. That is awesome. And then I'm just doing the layer underneath now. So strip mining an entire planet. Love to see it. And then I'm not really sure how like gravity works or like how movement works. Like if I just like wiggle my mouse and I do sort of get moving and then eventually like I start falling like that, building up speed. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is quite good. Just building up speed. I'm sort of orbiting, like, within the Earth's crust. Whoa. <laughs> Oh dear. All right, anyway, should probably get back to mining. That was far too much fun. Okay, we've fallen into the silicon layer. I don't think I can get back out, but a bit of silicon ain't bad. This is going to be my biggest haul to date. I mean, look at the planet. Like, I've I've eaten all of it. So we've got nearly 100,000 iron, 10,000 silicon. Look in the top right. We've even got 43,000 quid as well. So we're just going to upgrade all the stuff. I want to upgrade, like, these early ones sort of max if I can. All right, so I've pretty much upgraded all those. I'm, I've am i got to a point where I can almost, I mean, actually, maybe I can get to the core. Come on, come on. We just got a little bit of aluminium to get through. Please, come on, fuel. Yes, yes. Are we in? We're not quite in. Come on, one more hit. Yes, we're in. Oh, I died. Still, all these grayed out ones, they're the ones I've completely max upgraded. So this is the last fuel tank upgrade. Bye. This is the last or a fine one. So we get 400% more resources when we hit stuff now. And then fuel tank size just takes a load of money. Um, but I think instead of doing that, look how look at all these other green ones we've got unlocked. So what have we got down here? We've got regeneration, recover percentage of 
health. That costs aluminium. Only 800 though. I got 24,000 now. So yes, please. So I can keep upgrading this if I want to try and aim to that. But what's this other one? Aluminium foil. Oh, it makes it stronger. Two armor for aluminium. Yes, please. Again, that will lead to two more <laughs> upgrades as well. They all lead to more upgrades. Uh, the coin siphon. Oh, yes, coin siphon. That's an extra 10%. Is this another one? Yep, this one costs aluminium, but another 10%. Another ore purify. That sounds good. Okay, so I think this top right group, that basically gives you more like re resource and coins. Bottom right is armor. Bottom left is fuel. And then top left, this is sort of like the drilling strength. So what is this? Oh, thrusters. I'll be able to fly. Yes, please. It takes like resources of every type, but let's buy it. I should have bought those ages ago. Now we can also make our drill better as well. Oh man, look at the amount of upgrades. I'm getting overwhelmed already. Anyway, I've also noticed in the middle, this is called a vision upgrade. Allows you to see level two planets. So we can go somewhere else. We need 200 grand for that. 50,000 iron and 20,000 silicon. Uh, so so perhaps I should focus on that this time. So with oh, my thrusters, I can like, wait, can I just like fly to another planet? See you later, planet. I'm going to another planet. Okay, I'm not actually sure it works like that. Let's uh, let's head down. I'm going to put my shift thing on. So I should just fall straight through this planet. Oh, really? That's all I did. I thought I was going straight for it then. Anyway, the fact I now have thrusters means I can actually, I can go upwards as well as downwards. Before, I was, I was just stuck. Like, I think whatever the gravity of the planet was, that's sort of the direction I fell. Um, oh my good. Okay, I honestly, that on the right, I did not mean to do that. 100% that is an accident. I was just mining as I do. I I assume everyone else sees that, right? Do you see that? Anyway, for that upgrade, I need a bit of everything. So I should probably make sure I get enough iron. Because iron does get missed because uh, cause I fall through it so quick. I was sort of missing it recently. But now I can jetpack up. That should be fine. Oh my god, I've pretty much... I've just made another one. What is wrong with me? Anyway, aluminium. I can't remember how much. Was it 20,000? We've only got 7,000. So that could be a little bit tricky. We are definitely a lot stronger now, though. I'm, I'm definitely mining a lot more before the health bar's going down. Okay, we got 20,000. That's good. We need 100,000 iron. I think we did. Let's try and get that up to 100,000. All right. So we have done much, much better. Look at all these resources we collected. So back in the shop, we can do the vision upgrade. So we'll buy that. And then, oh, what, what have we got here? Oh, they're just like the next the next upgrades, next vision upgrade. I need gunpowder and coal. Wait, is that an M? 1 million coal and 30 million coins? Okay, I don't think I'm ready to do those yet. Uh, let's do this last fuel tank upgrade as well. Boosh. Up here, I feel like getting the, the coin siphons is sensible as well. And then drill damage. Yes, please. Okay, so now this is our planet. I can see that moon that was floating around in the question mark. Uh, oh, I need to buy it for a million coins. Okay, that's not ideal. Down there is another planet. I assume that's level three because it's blacked out though. So I guess then we've just got to, well, we've just got to do a lot more grinding, try and get to a million coins. Although at the same time, I, I want to try and get to the core. Can I like take out the core or does it just always kill me instantly? Because I got a lot of armor now. I can get down to the core pretty easily. Now let's, oh look, oh, I did damage to it. I did damage to it. So I've just got to get stronger. I've just got to get stronger. More drill damage. And this blue one, damage booster, increase the drill damage. Anyway, I think I should focus on this orb purify because that really increases the uh the amount of resources we get so what do i need for that aluminium let's so let's head straight down and then we'll just mine out like all the red so remember the red is aluminium and that is our most valuable resource as well we can sell that for a lot of money but for now i just want those sweet sweet upgrades tell you what i am i am precise with it look at this if i was like at school coloring in i'd get like really high grades i swear oh actually it looks like navi in the middle like from from zelda anyway we're up to 300,000 aluminium so that should do us pretty well should i have a go at the core ready oh come on you need more strength i think for now let's just keep upgrading. Oh, I could only do one upgrade. I need 329,000 to upgrade the drop boost again. Well, I can always upgrade this or siphon. That's an extra 50%. And then I've just done armor and health regen down here. And then that is everything, everything upgraded that I can. So I need another 100,000 aluminium. Oh, I'll tell you what, we are getting that fast this time. Those ore refiners really do help. Like we're already up to 200,000 aluminium. Gotta love multipliers. Right, and then yes, we can upgrade it one more time. So from 91% increase to 134% increase. We'll then increase our drill damage. Maybe we can try and take down the core this time. Uh, oh, what's, what's this upgrade? Milestones, unlock the 
the block broken milestone. Cost 800 grand. That's half of my money. I got 1.69. Nice. Million. Uh, shall I do it? Yeah, let's do it. So we now have milestones up here. Oh, so the, the amount of blocks we break, we get like different rewards. Okay, I'm glad I did that early. So this time we're going for number of blocks broken. Let's get some milestones unlocked. And I mean, this is racking up the money. Like look in the top right. Remember, I'm not selling this ore. I'm literally just getting that for smashing through. All right, so we're... we're <laughs> We're getting there. I'm literally taking off this top layer. So yeah, we should unlock quite a few milestones, I think. All right, and now we're into the silicon, which for some reason always seems to go a little bit faster. Now, even the aluminium, we are absolutely blitzing through it. The iron seems to take longer for some reason. Maybe just because it's like bigger, way, way more spread out. Anyway, my fuel bar literally hasn't gone down. So presumably I'm pretty much like invincible. I could do this forever. So let's have a go. Yes, we got it. I was going to say, let's have a go at taking down the planet. So we can prestige to get times three the block health and times three the resources. Uh, do do I want to do that? It seems like I don't have a choice. I can only prestige or I can prestige and restart. So let's just, well, let's prestige and restart and see. Oh no, look at our health. Wait, actually, this isn't terrible. Look, my health's regening. So my fuel bar's going up. Let's head down into silicon. Oh yeah, silicon is hard work. Silicon is hard work. Oh, poo. I'm not sure I should have destroyed the court. Well, at least we know now. At least we know. So with my new upgrades, what have we got up here? We have critical strike. Chance to multiply damage. It costs a million quid for 1% chance. Now we then can increase our drill damage. So let's do that. Down here, using aluminium, we can do the same. And then damage booster in the middle. Yeah, let's increase that. And sod it increase our critical strike as well right milestones oh look every core you break you get a milestone as well okay so that added loads of stuff on okay so that's good that is actually good um with our remaining million shall we shall we go to the moon let's buy the moon so what has the moon got it's got rock on top probably not too much of a surprise the the layer below is coal so we'll have some coal and then the final layer which is actually rinsing my fuel that is sulfur and with those look we can get new upgrades so we can increase the speed of our drill yeah Yes, please. And then what's this one down here? We oh, we can unlock gunpowder. Yes, please. And what's that led to? Grenades. We'll be able to shoot grenades. Okay, so we need to we need to invest in gunpowder. So basically for a little while, I'm just going to mine the moon. So I'll try and do like the outer layer first. This moon's so small compared to like the earth. Well, I'm not sure it was technically called the earth. I think it was just called home planet. But still, this is home's moon. We've got a lot of mining to do. So I'll focus on coal this time. I'll try and do all of this layer till our fuel runs out. Okay, that's that done. Oh, I didn't unlock any of these. And wait, I need gunpowder. I need gunpowder to do that. How do I get gunpowder? I've unlocked it. Oh, we got a crafting tab. So we turn sulfur and coal into gunpowder. Okay, so I can see that bar's going up. So that's crafting now. I can upgrade for 10 gems. I assume I don't have any gems. Ah, here we go. Look, we now have gunpowder. We got 12. So let's get a grenade. I hope these aren't going to be like one use, but uh, we can shoot grenade by pressing space. So let's uh, press space. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I did a little explosion. Okay, maybe I should have saved that for like when I got deeper in here. So if we go like down to there, then press space. That, it doesn't do a lot. It doesn't do a lot. Yeah, but perhaps when we upgrade it, it will. So this one, we can increase the grenade damage. It does 6.9 nice. damage, but it can go up to 12 if I upgrade. So we'll do that. We'll increase the number of grenades we get as well. Yeah, that would be useful. And then meanwhile, let's just keep upgrading our sort of reinforcement, our fuel levels. And oh, what is that? Electricity tank. Be able to gain electricity from electrical blocks. I don't know what they do, but I think I want it. Oh, it's leading to more stuff. So more fuel. Oh, stop giving me upgrades. The game's overwhelming. The game's overwhelming. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's try and get some resource. So down to this layer, double grenade. Yeah, grenades do like almost nothing. I'm not going to be rude and say they're useless, but um, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, let's get some more grenades. And then, oh yeah, maybe we need to focus on this, increasing the grenade explosion size. So we need 25 gunpowder for that. So that's just going to take some time to craft. So in the meantime, we'll do this electrical stuff, which I don't really know what it does. Oh, look, shoots lightning around the player. I need 200 gunpowder. Okay, I've got to get more gunpowder. So I need sulfur and coal. So sulfur is the, the sort of center of the moon. I think basically I'm just going to have to grind, get in 
down to here and doing that. And we'll just keep on going. So after a few more runs, we can increase the grenade size. That is cool. That's unlocked something else later on. So maybe I need to get to level five, maybe 10. Up there, grenade damage. Yeah, let's do it. And then I just got to remember to keep crafting. All right, this is a new upgrade. It sort of looks like a toilet to me. Uh, shockwave, cause an explosion when you're going fast. That's going to cost 50 gunpowder, which I was trying to save. Sod it. Let's do it. Question is, how fast is fast? So I'm not seeing any explosions. I think if we head out and then head back in, can you boost? Oh yeah, okay, okay. So I just got to pick up some speed and then boosh. It's a bit of an explosion. Not sure it's that worthwhile. Maybe if I can like get an explosion down to the bottom layer. Is that doing anything? Boosh. I'm not sure that was worth it. Anyway, if we head back to Earth, we can actually select between the Prestige 2 and the Prestige 1. So as I need some aluminium for some other upgrades, I think I'll stay on Prestige 1. So we don't get the multiplier, but we do get to go all the way to the middle. And this time, remember, we've got like our grenades and stuff like that. And they're getting better. I am upgrading them. They're definitely getting more valuable. I just destroyed the core. I don't think the core does anything now. It's just for the banter. But yeah, let's get a load of aluminium so we can upgrade some of the earlier stuff that I did miss because uh, some of that is like strength and we're going to need that because I want to take down the moon. So down here we can do aluminium foil. Yep, we can do the health regen as well. That is now maxed out. Yeah, unlock circuit boards. Allows you to craft circuit boards. We need a million silicon. Okay, come here yellow layer. I need you. Let's have a go with the grenades. They are doing, oh, they are doing big damage the grenades. I need to try and get more grenades if I can. Anyway, a couple of restarts a couple more grenades in the silicon and we have over a million which means back in the shop let's see crafting circuit boards what is that gonna get us orbital lasers we need 50,000 circuit boards and uranium i don't know where that's gonna be there's also drones that can help us they need five circuit boards but also glass okay meanwhile oh top left there's quite a lot to unlock here what have we got explosive drill when you break a block it will explode yes please okay so we'll head back to the moon and oh every hit is now explosive oh this has just got easier okay let's gain a load of rock and cut oh man and why didn't I do this one earlier? This is so much easier. Up here, acid coating. Inflict percentage of drill damage as poison. Okay, then I can add another grenade. Nice. Now, let's get crafting two of those as well. And then we'll see. Oh, man, we are so strong now. Can I get to the core now? If I grenade, I can, but the core kills me instantly. So I think for now, if I drill around here, then use the grenades to destroy the harder material boost then we are destroying some blocks now that probably means we're unlocking milestones which is getting us loads of stuff as well this is this is very very satisfying suddenly look at the moon there's like nothing left of it right so i can now do the final acid coating one this was the poison one so that's fully unlocked and then i need oh i need 1.5 million sulfur to keep that one going okay we're not going to be doing that for a while what is that though unlock steel allows me to craft steel and i needed steel for something else i mean if i get 10 steel i unlock the strongest shape i don't know if those bits are just really small or if the rest is really big anyway anyway distracted so in crafting to make steel i need iron and coal so we get coal from the moon that's this middle layer so i'll just boost my way around all of this i think the green by the way is like the acid so that's doing like damage over time which i love to see and then if i go to earth i need iron so i may as well prestige to this one and then just stay in this layer because i'm getting like a big multiplier of resource so yeah look in the bottom right we're up to 500,000 already how do we cope in the red oh not very well we can do the yellow okay but red a bit beyond me at the moment still we can now craft a load of steel looks like i need more coal so we'll go back on the moon trying to get that all right then we can craft more steel and then we got enough steel but the gunpowder is pretty hard to come by i'm crafting it as fast as i can i'm just struggling to get coal so what i might do we head over this way and focus on like this if i get a load of aluminium i can increase my drop rate a good like 40 percent um, and that will lead to these two upgrades i don't know what they do yet so back to here we've got grenades now so we can get through this red stuff pretty quick yeah i think it's a case of just doing this for a few minutes and then hopefully we've got enough aluminium to unlock that nice and then we can unlock this next one as well which is gem chance we can finally get some gems although at 0. 
0.2% chance of finding one. It's not going to be very common. All right, I've increased up to a 1% chance. We need gems to get all the upgrades after that. Uh, let's try and let's keep getting aluminium for this. I need oh, 2.5 million. That's quite a lot. Thankfully, I have explosives on my side now. I mean, to be fair, I've got nearly a million just from that one round. So if I head back in again. Yeah, now we're well over a million. Oh, look at the gems. We got 26 gems. I didn't realize how many blocks I destroyed. Probably with my grenades. So in the crafting menu, I can spend them to upgrade. We can make gunpowder quicker. Oh, that's doubled the increase. Oh, yeah, that is good. That is good. We'll upgrade the steel one as well. All right, and then I'm having to go at prestige two because we get the multiplier. I'm quite strong. Yeah, I'm getting pushed back in here. But my, my grenades do destroy this. So aluminium, you can see we're nearly up to 2.5 million that we need. There we go. We've got it. So back to the shop. And then look, we can get this again. So this increases the number of resources we get by a big percentage. Thank you very much. Uh, we can increase the number of gems we get as well. Yeah, quite like I'm liking the gems. And oh, and look over here. We finally have the missiles as well. We got enough gunpowder. Bye. So now we shoot a missile out of the drill every second. And we can increase the size of them with steel and gunpowder. So to make steel and gunpowder, we're just lacking the coal. So we're back on the moon. And if I don't move, you can see we're shooting knobs out. Of, I mean, we're shooting missiles everywhere. So that is cool. That's good to know. Uh, the explosions are nowhere near as big as like... I like, look at the explosion of those compared to my grenade. Boosh. <laughs> grenade for the win. Anyway, we can now craft gunpowder and steel, and I can actually upgrade that again. So we're getting four gunpowder every time now. Man, there's something about watching numbers go up bigger. I just love it. I love it. Question is, can I destroy a core now? Let's have a go. I got full health. I can't, but remember, my health is regening. So if I just do a bit more mining, get my health bar, or my fuel bar, sorry, back to the top, then second hit. Yes, we've prestiged it. So that's good stuff. In the meantime, let's add another grenade then we'll have a go at the prestige moon what is our health gonna be like as we get lower down oh it's brutal down there it is brutal down there i think i may drop back to prestige one not because i'm scared just because i am all right okay we finally got enough gunpowder that we can get that lightning static so we'll do that and then look if i stay still you can see my lightning sort of going at it i mean i'm a missiles as well so the lightning just does it just does a little bit of damage i think later on when we upgrade it will be way better like my grenades now are really good if i just keep upgrading the grenades i'll be fine i just want everything i see an upgrade i can afford and i just want to buy it oh look i can upgrade the grenade size as well. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, come on then, grenades. Oh, grenades are good now. Grenades are fantastic. Okay, explosive size. Then upgrade the gunpowder capacity. That's we're making 20 now. We were just making one to start with. So now we're making gunpowder way quicker, which means we can add another grenade. And then when we go back to the moon to get more resource for that, ready? Oh, look how big the explosions are. And we got six of them as well. Uh, oh, what's this one up here? Lens enhancer adds a laser onto my drill. Yes, please. Anyway, we can increase the grenade size, which I'm definitely going to do. And we'll just hope as we spam grenades. Oh, man, I die so quick. If I stay up in the safer layer, just use my grenades to get to the deep stuff. They weren't very powerful getting through those, if I'm honest. Anyway, oh, we've now got an equipment tab. Oh, this is the lens enhancer. So if I equip that i can shoot lasers from my drill so is that is that happening i'm not sure i think we've we've like gained like a little little drone thing there oh, i got a click i got a click okay oh it does use up fuel though that's quite annoying oh man oh man it gets through this upper layer like anything okay yeah i quite i quite like this actually i quite like this quite a lot and we oh man look at the laser Oh, it's just rinsing through everything. I can literally, I can literally just orbit the planet and look at the damage it's doing. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, the laser is probably my favorite thing now. This is, <laughs> this is incredible. It's just eating everything. I was wondering if I was ever going to destroy a whole planet. And I think I've done it. All right, well, anyway, that is, that is an entire planet destroyed. I've destroyed my home. I've destroyed my home. Anyway, I could play this for hours and hours. If you want to see more, boost the like button. But for now, I'll say peace, love and orbital lasers. Bye, guys. Bye.